New this morning, lawmakers are working to establish procedures for cardiac emergencies in schools. It's part of pending legislation in Vermont State House. Channel 3's Melissa Cooney joins us live in South Burlington after taking a closer look at what the bill would accomplish. Melissa. Good morning, Alyssa and John. That's right. The schools I spoke with say that safety is, of course, a priority for them and as well as the health of the students. But in some parts of the state, staffing issues could cause some challenges. I'll get like really dizzy while like running around and playing sports, which is really hard because I play a lot of sports. And then it's like my heart beats faster. Rice student Alexis Menard O'Neill is a three sport athlete diagnosed with Wolf Parkinson White syndrome, a congenital heart defect. She says surgery has allowed her to continue competing, but she's made it a goal to raise awareness on conditions like hers. I don't want people to have to stop playing sports and doing what they love because they have like something undetected or they don't know what is wrong with them. Students like Menard O'Neill are exactly who a bill in the state house aims to assist in case of a rare cardiac emergency. The bill requires every district to establish a cardiac emergency response plan, work with EMS providers, train staff on AED and CPR, and do practice drills. Colchester District Nursing Coordinator Mariah McCullough says they already have these practices in place. There would be um, you know, an, in, an injury or some sort of traumatic event that's happened um, or bleeding emergencies, breathing emergencies, we're, we're prepared to respond to opiate-related um, emergencies, you know, a number of things. So we, we try to think a little more broadly. And down the road in South Burlington, athletic trainer Sierra Villamare says their District 2 has crisis response team and emergency plans in place. I personally practice my emergency action plan with the coaches and the athletic director and even some of the student athletes who are captains. But not every school in Vermont has an athletic trainer to coordinate these responses. The Association of Athletic Trainers says there are 225 licensed in the state, but they say there are only 17 trainers working full time in secondary schools. We have crisis drills here at the high school, um, but again, it's really hard if they're not athletic trainers in the after school hours because I don't know who would necessarily respond to those situations. And the schools say that luckily there haven't been any cardiac emergencies in at least the past few years. There's also another bill in the state house that aims to figure out how to improve the number of athletic trainers in Vermont schools. Live in South Burlington, Melissa Cooney, Channel 3 This Morning.